Welcome back, live at noon, and now for something completely different. We've gone from dead dictators to dinner. During the Christmas season, Victor Berry is a chef at Splendido Restaurant, and everybody knows Splendido, one of the great restaurants in Toronto. And also, you brought with you Christina Kuypers, who is a mixologist at that restaurant. <laughs> and, uh... And you're also uh, very good at what you do, I'm told. Oh, thank you very much. But, Just... you know, the only thing I've been told, aside from the fact that you both are really top of your game, is that, Ladrill, you can't drink any of this at lunchtime. So that's too bad, and I want to leave it for Pooja. <laughs> in any event, let's, uh, thanks for coming in, and let's talk about what you brought in. Let's talk about this, first of all. Oysters. So these are oysters. Um, you didn't make those. No, I didn't make them, but I, I, uh, we've, we ship them in from the East Coast every week. And uh, we're serving with them a little apple and jalapeno dressing, or a mignonette, a classic a classic spin on a classic mignonette. There's something classic about oysters at Christmas, isn't there? There is. I just think that they're they're kind of they're luxurious to have during Christmas time. So and you can't just go out and buy oysters all the time, so why not just, you know, fancy it up a little bit and enjoy oysters at Christmas with your family. Speaking of fancying it up, what else have you got here, Victor? These are uh Parmigiano Reggiano and Rosemary cheese biscuits. Um so just like cheese biscuit, like a shortbread, like savory shortbread. Well, I'm just going to drive the directors and the producers crazy here for one second. <laughs> Is that okay, Jade, if I do this? Go over to... Uh, they already just said to me, I hate you. Pooja, <laughs> let's just try this. We'll go over here. I don't know if we're on or not, but you can only have one. Oh, I, I want you to... No, thing. not the whole thing. Okay, taste one. I'll take one. Can okay, you there you one? go. No, no, I can't taste one because okay, I'm talking. But Pooja... Oh, okay. Um, What's in this? Guadamajano Reggiano, um, cheddar, rosemary, Flour and butter. There oh. she goes. Okay, so we'll go. see. And I don't know if they can get that on camera or not. But um, mm, we'll have. We, we can hear her anyway. <laughs> she loves it. <laughs> so that's terrific. Now what's going on here? Let's just go to Christina. Or, or I didn't know if that was a drink or not. No, this is a this is a, a soup. So acorn oh, squash soup. It looks like a shooter. A yeah. You know where I'm coming from. Oh, this is we a, take inspiration from each other. This is the segue. Is it? The segue. Yes. Okay, <laughs> Victor, tell us about these shooters you've got. This is acorn squash soup, and we've just topped it off with a little bit of maple syrup and nutmeg sage uh, whipped cream. Really simple and really easy, uh, and just a nice way to, to present it in shot glasses as a canopy for your guests when they arrive to warm them up from the cold weather. Wow, what a great idea. Now let's just talk to Christina for a minute. We're going to come back to you and talk about uh, the tradition mm -hmm. at Christmas, uh, turkey. But Christina, what have you got for us today? So we've got a couple things. Speaking about being luxurious and treating yourself in the holidays, I mean, what's more decadent than having oysters and champagne, right? So doing a little twist on that, the great thing is you can pre-prep these and as your guests arrive, just top them up with sparkling. We've got a little bit of cider, a little bit of bourbon, some cinnamon syrup and bitters. So it just adds an ugly little flavoring to your, your you know, run of the mill. Now, will a champagne bubbles. aficionado agree with that, that you're putting bourbon in a I champagne? I would say it is entirely to your discretion what you do with your champagne and your bourbon. But um, I, Prosecco, like, I like that line. Prosecco's great in sparkling. <laughs> it's a good line. But, uh, if you, I mean, however you enjoy it, that's, that's a gr great way to it's actually add a little bit of flavor to it and, you know, and, and really spice it up for the holidays. Good so, idea. Now, what else have you got here? I we see also, you have some nutmeg here. Yes, we do. We're going to actually finish off a cocktail in a second. We've okay. got a, a punch. It's the uh, Maker's Mark 456 punch. And uh, we've got a little bourbon, some apricot, some uh, pear nectar, lemon juice, and tea syrup and spice syrup to go in there. Another thing you can make ahead of time. So, really easy to serve. Okay. And then uh, we've got some, if you like eggnog. Do you like eggnog? Sometimes, yeah, yes. yeah, it's not everybody's thing. So we've got something that's a lot lighter than that. Oh, good. There's a family of cocktails called Flips that actually use an egg yolk, not the rest of the egg, and yep. no dairy. And uh, it's basically a, a sherry and bourbon and spice syrup in that and a little bit of lemon juice. And all you want to do is just finish up shaking that. Yep, and... Whoa. Okay. Just pour that in. Well, you know, it looks very healthy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nathan's laughing at it's like it. It's a protein shake. Pretty really? much. You get your protein in there and a little bit of nutmeg over the top. I'm not a big fan of, of eggnog myself either, but I think this 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 cocktail is fantastic. Okay, now I we're out of time, and I know that the, the everybody here, all the writers particularly, are lined up to get these drinks. Then they, who's, who's she's in. in for another she's one? in. Well, that's proof positive. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got recipes online? Recipes are online. Um, what is it? Splen www.splendido.ca. And our website. And also cb24.com. So that's perfect. We're out of time. i got to speak really fast. Christina and Victor, thank you very much for coming in. And Splendido, great restaurant. Thank you very thank much. You. We're going to take a break here and come back. Pooja is going to clear her mouth and come back with traffic and weather. Stay with us. <laughs>